What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Matrix. Last time, we had a meeting with all the captains of the different ships in the Matrix series. That, if you've seen this, the Matrix movies, and you know, then you know what I'm talking about. All the different, for for example, the Nebuchadnezzar, Morpheus, a ship. So all the d different captains, including Morpheus, who was only in there for like two seconds. But anyway, we had a meeting about what we saw in the package that we retrieved from the post office back in the beginning of the game. And it turns out that the machines, the sentinels, are digging. I'm assuming that they're digging to the... Because yes, because if, if you guys recall the Matrix Revolutions... There was that huge battle against the machines in Zion. So, that is what they're doing. The machines are actually digging towards that city. Towards that underground city. And, uh, they were getting attacked by cops. So, we had to escape. And, of course, protect some of our friends, including that stupid fool, Ballard, who kept getting... Now I realize why it was so... So annoying in the per in the beginning of that level because he just kept staying out in the open. We had to protect him in the beginning of the the level, and we had to protect him at the end of the level. And both times, the idiot stood right there in the open, getting shot. Because if you go in the second part at the, at the end of the level, we had, in addition to Ballard, another guy who actually kept cover. And he didn't lose as much health. So, once again, I've said it like three times already, but Ballard was a freaking idiot. Anyway, once we helped everybody, we encountered some agents, but were rescued by the key maker, who told us that we need to get a key that he made, a very special key, to Neo, because... It's supposed to have some kind of great power that only the one can unlock and blah 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 and you know that's all just it's all just technicalities. What's important is that it was all a trap set up by these two these two jackasses that go by the name of Cain and Abel, and they kick they took the key maker and the key, and so now we're forced to rescue him. And get the key back. And so we enter this chateau, which belongs to the Frenchman, the Merovingian. And uh, once again, we split up. And our job, first of all, and in fact, is really our only job in terms of what we're supposed to be doing, if I remember correctly. Because if I remember correct, yes, if I remember correctly, our only job. Because the end of the level sort of converges into the same thing, with obviously the only difference being who you play and who you play as. But the first half is actually different. And our job as Ghost is to go to the roof and get a signal so we can make a phone call. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're starting off at the Great Hall. And somebody's playing a piano. Broken wood. Yes, you may be wondering, what's the point of this? Why do we all of a sudden just break a chair and grab a piece of broken wood? Well... See these guys? That weapon seems to disrupt their code. Yes. We are fighting against vampires. Well, vampire slash werewolves. 
kind of like a mix between a vampire and a werewolf. And the only way to kill them is to shove the stake into their hearts. Which is why I said that they're vampires. I mean, they look like werewolves. They kind of look animal-like. But, you can only... You, you, you kill them by shoving a stake. And they all... Well, then again, wolves do have teeth like that. So, basically, they look like wolves. But you can only kill them by shoving a stake through the heart. Which is the only way to kill a vampire. Now, if you had silver bullets, then it would be full werewolf, but... Since you have to... Sh to kill them, you have to shove a stake through their heart. That's why I say they're basically kind of like a mix between a werewolf, solely based on how they look, and the vampire. And that is all I think so far. These are probably the toughest enemies that we've faced so far. Not that they're difficult to kill, but... Well, as you saw with these two, they can actually counter you. Unlike the cops, who just shoot you, these guys can actually, with enough hits, they like push you back and actually do a little bit of damage to you as well. So, in that regard, they're basically the toughest enemy we've faced so far. Moving on to the West Wing. Luckily, they only do that one time. It doesn't matter how much you shoot them. Because like I said, only way to kill them is with the stake. So weapons are actually quite useless in this part. But I still really like this chapter though. It is, like I said, at the end of the last part. This is basically one of my one of my two favorite part uh, chapters levels in this game. In ghost story anyway. Bitch. Take that. Focus punch. I'm not sure if there's actually a way to, to kill them without just punching them a whole bunch of times. Like, I don't think there's a way to just press an attack key and just automatically st stab them with the stake. The atrium!
Come on, take this to the. Come on, stake him already. It's almost like those that the focus really comes in handy. Also, I don't think there's any way to avoid that. Oh, that was so action movie style right there. Like, jump, stab him in the heart, and then kick him through a window. Probably the best moment in this game so far. <laughs> Into the next area with while fighting him. I wonder if he's gonna be there when we load to the next area. The secret passage. Nope, he's not. That was a nice little... I don't think I've ever had that happen. Like, go, in, go into the next area while fighting somebody. I guess if you just mix and match various attacks, that's how you basically avoid avoid getting jabbed in the stomach several times. Never mind. As you can see, he can even be lit on fire and still survive. Max is gonna think he actually have to fight these guys. Away from the fire! Stay away from the fire! Jeez, damn it! Stay away from the. Stay. You. You're like a fire magnet! Obviously, the Secret Passage 2. It's what it must be called since it was a loading screen, but no. Subtitle. That's right. Have a nice fall.
We are going to have a nice encounter with the lady of the house. Who you should remember. If you've seen The Matrix Reloaded, you should remember who that is. And what she likes to do. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing as well. Same thing that Neo did in the movies. Throw you. And now stake you. Surrounded. Mervingen's office. I don't know what the hell that's, that spinning jump thing was. It's absolutely unnecessary. that you can use against them, but I still prefer hand-to-hand -hand combat, especially since you really don't have that much ammo for these things anyway. 